It was fucking weird, man. It was weird coming back to the United States because of the Las Vegas shooting. That was weird. Uh, it was weird. It was weird. It's a real sign of the times that my first thought was like, man, my heart goes out to these people. But my second thought was, how is Donald Trump going to make this worse? <laughs> Has he started attacking the victims on Twitter yet? 59 people couldn't run away. Hashtag sad. <laughs> what a piece of shit. It's amazing, too, because I started reading this article, and the article just got more and more confusing because it was like, this guy was a high roller at Mandalay Bay Casino and brought in, quote, an arsenal of rifles. 22 rifles! He brought into the Mandalay Bay Casino. And then they interviewed the bellhop, and he was like, we do anything we can do to accommodate our high rollers. Oh, what the fuck? Where does Mandalay Bay draw the line? Like, sorry guys, uh, I know you want to bring in your Heisenberg uh, plutonium device, but we gotta draw the line somewhere. Totally fucked up. The second thing is, and this really blew my mind, it was like, Monday morning, Mandalay Bay Casino was still under lockdown, although there were some people still playing slots. Oh my god! Yeah, if you've ever needed a red flag to let you know that you have a gambling problem, <laughs> I think you just fucking found it. Yeah, honey, I know that there's an active shooter, but daddy is heating up! <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Uh, thank you so much, Cupcake Comedy, for bringing me up here, you guys. Give it up for Natalie. And Martin. Keep it going for Brendan Lama. Oh my god, keep it going for him. Alright, we have reached a very...